What's up, y'all? It's your boy, the Sacktown Packhound, back at it with another rip. Today, we got one that I'm really excited for, 2022 Black NFL. So, I have not opened any of these packs yet. I just got these today. As you can see, they are first off the line. I've had tremendous luck with the NBA Black. Got a case hit out of those, a Giannis. So, I'm really looking forward to seeing these. I have not ripped any of these in the past. We're going to get into what's in there before I do that do not forget hit that like hit that subscribe tell us what you think of the content and what you think we should do different if anything so Panini Black is a 200 card set 100 of it is veterans and I believe 100 are rookies as you can see it's called black one of the reasons the cards themselves have a base black background and uh, they use kind of splashes of color to kind of set it off. One of my favorite products just based off, based off of how it looks. I think it's a really good looking card. They also have good value. So in these boxes you're going to get two autos, one mem, one base, and one parallel. So you only get five cards. These boxes, the hobby boxes, are going to be about $250 to $300 depending on where you get them from. I didn't want to miss out on these so I wanted to get some first off the line. I'll show you why in a minute. Those start started off at $600 with a Dutch auction. I didn't want to miss out, so I waited till they got down to, I got mine for about $400 a box. They're still quite expensive for only getting five cards, but I have had some really good luck, like I said, so hopefully that continues. You can see the parallels, silver to 75, sapphire to 35, copper to 25, emerald to 10, ruby first off the line to eight, gold to five, and platinum one to one. The case hit or the short printed inserts on these are the force field regulators white knight and this one here it's a new new one this year called vanta i really like the white knight it's kind of different just because most of these other cards are all black and that one is like it says it's white it has stars in it it's a really good looking you know what i'm saying card if you haven't seen it already something else that's really nice about these cards you get a lot of jumbo patches that look really nice and there's a lot of on-card autos for this product and like i said there is only five cards but there's not a lot of products in the 250 to 300 dollar range where you're going to get on-card autos so a lot of these are like that you got rookie patch autos rookie signature materials and sizable signatures on-card autos the capstones midnight signatures smoke show signatures and spotlight signatures nightlight signatures is the new hard sign the iconic impact these are cool they have behind acetate so it's kind of like a kind of like a picture frame kind of relics in there also futuristic and rookie influx starlight is also new this year so the first off the line is going to get one rookie patch auto ruby to 15 or less and one ruby first off the line base parallel number to eight or less so or excuse me numbered to eight so that's why i got these uh anytime you get first off the line you're going to be paying quite a bit more than you uh normally would the nba panini ones come out tomorrow and they're starting off crazy i think they're 17 50 dollars per box which to me is just absolutely insanity so I will be skipping on those as much as I love the Panini One product. Uh, you only get two cards, I do believe, and that's just way too much for me. So obviously we are looking for the big rookies, Kenny Pickett, Malik Willis, George Pickens, Drake London, Sauce Gardner. I have been on a very hot streak lately, knock on wood with two players in the NBA. I've been having really good luck pulling some real fire jaws lately, John Morant. And in the football, I've had a lot of luck lately with Malik Willis. So here is what the packs look like. So like I said, there's only five cards per pack, one pack per box. So let's get into it, see what we got here. I think this top one is going to be a base or a parallel, I'm not sure, I'm thinking. Here we go, first card, Chris Olave, I saw that, force field, so that's a nice insert right there, Chris Olave. I just, I love how the design of these cards is, the one knock that I do have on these and it's not just for this product, it's any product that has a black base is that 
they are very difficult to grade. A lot of them come with uh, some damaged, you know, corners, which is very hard not to, I guess, and it's very easy to see with um, the black. So, but that's a nice card. I love how it looks, as usual. Now that should be. Is that one numbered? I didn't even look. Not numbered. So let's see what we got here. This is upside down. So. Trey McBride. That's a pretty boring card right there. Do not like the single color patch as you guys know. That's the rookie influx memorabilia. Not too bad, not too bad, but just don't like that single color. Really, really don't like that single color. But all right. Let's see, Bears. Kyler Gordon. Wah, wah. That one is a sticker auto. But as you, and that's number to 50. But as you guys see, it's just a clean, clean looking card. Really nice. So I think I should have my Ruby first off the line parallel and my Ruby patch auto left, which I think, watch well, that one because it's way thicker. So I think this is the Ruby parallel. Russell Wilson, four of eight. So nice. Russell Wilson is doing terrible this year. Thank God, because I'm a diehard Raiders fan. So, and this is our last card. This one is real thick. You guys can see the. See, is that sauce? Oh, Trayvon Walker. All right. Woo! That's tough. 14 of 15. See the auto there? So the only knock that I have on it is that the auto is a little difficult to see because it's a white patch. Um, don't really like the patch. It is two color, but it just has a little bit of color on the bottom. That's a whole lot of patch for just one color. So first pack, eh, not too great. Sorry if you hear my son screaming in the background. He wants to come in here and be a part of the video but he's not happy that we got the door locked and he cannot get in to the studio. All right, so again, this should be our base, or Jamar Chase, all right. Jamar Chase force field, same insert. I don't know if you get one of these per pack or not. That's kind of odd you get the same one. Uh, you do, in a hobby box, you get one base card. So if you plan on collecting a set, that is going to be a little bit difficult, but can't be done. All right, let's see. Niners, Tyron Davis Price, Tyrion Davis Price, Futuristic, 12 of 50. And that has a little bit of a different color down there. Not too bad. Come on, y'all want that white knight or one of them hard to hard to hit short prints. What we got here? Cowboy, ah, oh, it already sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Sam Williams, no, I was right. 143 to 199. So so far not impressed with the qua or the content, I guess. Need to get a big name. Another Niner. This is gonna be my Ruby. All right, George Kittle, five of eight. That's not bad. I like that. Hate the Niners, but Kittle's a baller. The dude's a beast. Do see it, some damage to this corner. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's some damage there. All right, come on, give me that Kenny Pickett or that Malik Willis. Keep my hot streak alive. Let's go. Actually, you know what? Let's pull it down from the front. There we go. Rookie. Nice patch. Kyle Hamilton. Sizable signatures. 2 of 15. So, that is a sticker auto. The patch is clean, though. Patch is real clean. Uh, really? Really need that big name, so we're halfway done. 
two packs left. Come on, this is one of my favorite products, you guys. I've been hyping you up. Let's get some, let's get a banger out of here. I've had a long week, I need a big card. Let's go. A Chief. Leo Chanel. <laughs> All right, I don't know about that. A little base right there. I believe this is gonna be a, our mem. Packers, Romeo Dobbs. Not bad. I say just do away with the single color napkins. Come on, guys. This is gonna be our Ruby Parallel to eight. Cardinal, JJ Watt. Okay, seven of eight. All right, last card. Come on, y'all. Now this one, actually I'm wrong. There's a, another card, it's not the last one. Thought it was. Aiden Hutchinson. Yeah, all right, I'll take that for sure. Aiden Hutchinson, three of 25. Oh, but it's got a massive ding in it. Oh, you guys see that? Oh, that sucks. Definitely gonna have to send this one back to Panini. Oh, that's terrible, because that's a big card. That's the biggest card so far. Three of 25 with a massive ding. Darn it. Oh, I already did that too quick. Zamir White, Raiders running back. That's clean. Diehard Raiders fan. Got Zeus. 11 of 15. Nice patch. All right, y'all. Last pack. This one does feel very, very thick. So, I don't think they have booklets in here, but I could be wrong. That feels like it. Nope, not a booklet. But hopefully it's a Kenny Pickett or Malik Willis shield or something crazy. That'd be dope. Packers. Romeo Dobbs. <laughs> Base rookie. All right, come on, y'all. I need that big hit. Let's go. Four cards left. Malik Willis. All right, so that's nice. 11 out of 25. I wish it was an auto, but I stay hot with the Malik. I'm telling you, I've been hitting Malik's consistently. It's a nice patch too. So that's a nice card. Here we got three left. Should be an auto. JJE. Justin Jefferson, let's go, baby. Oh, Midnight Signatures, four out of five. That's a banger! Let's go, that's on card too. On card, Midnight Signatures, four out of five. Oh, that is tough right there. That's a beautiful card. Woo, all right, all right. Two cards left. This is gonna be my Ruby Parallel. Cordella Patterson, one of eight. All right, y'all, we got one more card. Come on now. Come on now. Let's see, come on, let's go. To Charger B. Herbert. Come on. Nope. Isaiah Spiller. 8 of 15. That patch is nasty though. But I don't know if you guys can see, but you see what I if you guys can't see, you go along the edges of these cards that are really thick stock up here as well. And 
it's not anybody's fault it's just how they're made but they have quite a bit of damage along the edge so that will definitely knock it um, this right here is definitely the best card of the four boxes the midnight signatures is dope I love how it has the moon and like the cloudy weather in the background I love that it's on card and shoot four out of five that's that's real nice right there definitely the, the best card out of these so all in all definitely didn't get the amount of big names I was hoping I would especially for a first off the line but still did very very well I think uh, this Aiden Hutchinson is actually I mean this is a really really nice card it's just got this gigantic ding in it so definitely will have to send this one back uh, but all in all not bad very fun rip um, I would definitely recommend it. It is a product where you do get, you know, four hits. You get two autos, one mem, a parallel, and you only get one base. So that's not bad. Again, the price tag, $250 to $300 for the, you know what I'm saying, hobby boxes. The hobby boxes will not have the ruby parallel, so they will not be numbered to eight. And they will not have the low numbered, um patch autos in every single pack like the first off the line does but that's why I got those uh, glad I did that Justin uh, Jefferson definitely made it worth it so tell me what you guys thought did you guys think it was a good product or was it too too high priced I think for the market right now I mean to be honest it's a lot cheaper than most products you do only get five cars but if you compare it to like Panini Playbook which I love. Uh, but any playbook, you get five or I think five cards and uh, maybe even four. Uh, you do get a booklet, but those are upwards of 600 plus dollars. So you get the same amount here. You just don't get the booklet in there, but they have so many other cards that are just beautiful, beautiful cards. So again, tell me what you guys think. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Do not forget if you have not already hit that like hit that subscribe follow your boy on instagram sacktown packhound and if there's anything coming out that you want to see there's a lot of products coming out right now so if there's anything that you want to see specifically let me know i can get some first off the line hopefully and you can see them before you buy them so again thank you guys i appreciate it until next time it's your boy the sacktown packhound let's get it